people have been going to shul. And so that's nice. But, you know, if people still aren't comfortable going to shul or even to an outdoor minion, we are good with that also. And we want to provide this service for them. So this week's Parsha is Parsha Kishalach. And B'nai Yisrael, I'll give you a little summary of it. So B'nai Yisrael is leaving Mitzrayim and Paro then changes his mind and B'nai Yisrael are now trapped between the Yamsuf and Paro's army. Hashem tells Moshe to raise his staff A wind blows all night, leaving a path through the water. B'nai Yisrael make it out safely. But when the Mitzrayim chase them, the water starts coming back and the Mitzrayim are drowning. B'nai Yisrael, are on the other side, they sing a song of gratitude to Hashem, and they complain because there's no food. Hashem then sends down the man to them. They gather, they gather a single portion every day, except for a double portion on Friday to last for Shabbat. There's no water, so Moshe hits the rock and brings the water forth, and Amalek then attacks them from the back after that, and attacking the weaker and the more tired who are at the back, but B'nai Yisrael win. So that's the basic summary. And then we have, um, I have some um, quotes here. So in Hebrew it says, Vayamru el Moshe, hamabli ein kfarim b'mitzrayim, lakachtenu, lamut b'midbar, ma zodasita lanu lahotzianu mimitzrayim. Was it not, was it for the want of graves in Egypt that you brought us out to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us taking us out of Egypt? And then it goes on a little later to say, isn't it better for us to be slaves to the Mitzrim, to the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness? So I saw this very nice article in Sephora.com by um, Chaniel Levinson, who quoted Rabbi Soloveitchik and then later quotes, quotes a Rabbi Lou. And Rabbi Soloveitchik, um, he talks about periods of time in the Jewish history where people hate our people. And so people, Jewish people are united, not by choice. So Rabbi Soloveitchik says, First, the awareness of shared fate appears as that of shared experience. We are all in the realm of the shared fate that binds us together. Even though we may speak a mix of different languages, even if we are citizens of different countries, even if we look different, one's short and black and the other's tall and blonde, and even if we live in different economic systems and under different living conditions, like one in a royal palace and the other in a cave, we have but one fate. And first, when the Jews were in a cave and, is, and are attacked, the security of the Jew that's standing in the courtyard of the royal palace is also threatened. So like for instance, in the book of Esther and Queen Esther, she's robed in, in, in a queen's gown and Mordechai is wearing sackcloth and they're both in the same situation. All Israel are bound together. We are all persecuted or we are all saved. So Rabbi Lou asked the question, what happens at the edge of the sea? When we're dealing with adversity, four things can happen. There are those that are escapists that try to run away. There are those that are conformists. There are those that are fighters and there are those that are believers. And B'nai Yisrael was, was divided into those four groups. There were some that said, let's jump into the sea because they couldn't take it. They wanted to die. Others said they wanted to conform. They were like, we should go back to Egypt, you know, we should assimilate with the Egyptians. And in my husband's class, he spoke about how many people actually did stay back in Egypt. Like there was, there's this term in this week's Parsha that says um, chamushim. And it's a question because it's not a, a term that's used very much. And chamushim, some of Horshim say that chamushim could be soldiers. And others say chamushim is like from the number chamesh. And it's actually one fifth, five. Hamesh is five, so um, one fifth of the people may have actually left Mitzrayim, and many others may have stayed. So there were a group that were afraid, just like we know, unfortunately, in the story of Hitler in, in Germany. Um, 
so, and then we have um, um, the, we have uh, the third group that says, let's go to war with the Egyptians. And then we have those that say, let's pray to God. And we know that none of those in isolation can really be helpful. Sometimes we do have to go to war and we have to believe in God, but very often God does not want us just to sit still. We need to take action. We got to the Yam Suf. Nobody wanted to go in the water and people were sort of waiting what to do, what to do. And then Nachshon ben Amina Dav jumped into the water. He took action. He went forward. He got unstuck by a bad situation and he did something. Sometimes it just takes doing one little thing. Sometimes we're like so paralyzed by something that seems like so overwhelming to us. And we just need to take a baby step forward sometimes. And that starts the process. And when um, Nachshon ben Amina Dav took that one step, Am Yisrael followed him, and we know the rest of this story. When we're faced with challenges like that, we need to move forward. And what happens after the splitting of the sea and the crossing of the sea? Vatikach Miriam Hanivia Achot Aharon et Hatav Biada Vatetsena Kol Hanashim. That Miriam, the prophetess, Aaron's sister. She led all the girls, she led the women, and they took their, their timbers, timbery, what do they call those, the tambourines, and they, and they took the drums, and they went, and they danced, and they were so joyous that they were overwhelmed. It's like the feeling that we're getting after we get our second COVID shot. I'm sure I haven't experienced that yet, but that's what it'll be. We have to have faith in Hashem. Yes, we have to dive in faith in Hashem. We need to take that baby step forward and then we will be successful and we will sing and we'll have a wonderful Shabbat Shira. Ari, it's all yours. <laughs> El Ritzon Necho Yarot Abdecho Kimawayol Yishtachave El Mulhador Recho Yerablo Yedidotecho Minopes the <laughs> No, I'm Zivacho. Oh, it is a Kazak, that is Rape. The Hoya Sola, Sim Kasola. Vosik Yehemuna, Rakamecho. The Kusana. Abinahu Vecho Kizekamo Nixof Nixafati Liros Mehero Lisiferes Usecho Ele Hamdo Hamdo Libi Vechusano the Alpinsalem, the Golem, who froze the Havivi or Lime, as a Sukas Shilomeho, not all your errands, meek Vodeho, no Gila. Then is the Hobo Mahereho Kivamoe, the 
בכוננו, שימי עולם.
la 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 Le <laughs> The shame will see Ferris Villisilo. Lechado de le crascalo. Venecia bosnica villa. Lechado de le crascalo. Venecia bosnica villa. Le crascia bos le juvenilejo. Ki me cor a rojo me rosh me kedem me sucho sof ma ase be ma chashavot chilo lechado di le kras kalo be neisha bos ne kabelo lechado di le kras kalo be neisha bos ne kabelo niknash Melech ir melucho, kumi tsi min toch hapecho, rav loch steves be ime kabocho, le huyach amol olayich chemlo, le chodo di le kras kalo, pene shabos di kabilo, le chodo di le kras kalo, Then <laughs> Lechado di le kras kalo, bene shabos ni kabilo. His orary, his orary, kiva orech kumiori, ori uri, shir da beri, kiva da donoi, ola yich niglo. Lechado di le kras kalo, Bene Shabos Nikabilo, Le Chodo di Le Graskalo, Bene Shabos Nikabilo, Lo se voshi, Lo si call me, Matish Hochachi, O Matemi, Moch Yechesu, Ani Yami, Venivniso, Yeraltilo. Le Chododi, Le Kraskalo, Dnei Shabos, Ne Kabilo. The Yulim Shiso, Shal Soyer, Le Rochaku, Kol Mivaloyer, Yossis Olayer, Elohoyer. Kim sus koson al kalo, al rodi, le gras kalo, ne shabos, ne kabelo, yo minus mo, te froti, te es adonoi, tarisi, al yadish. Then the party, then is mecha, then no gila. Lecha do di, le gras kalo, then ne shabos, 
Another Judy, or maybe that's the same Judy? No, and different one. Different Judy. Okay, okay, lots of Judy. And Carla. And who else? Carla. Oh, Carla. Hi, Carla. Anyway, good job. Yes, I'm, I'm here all the time. I'm okay, here all the good. time. You're like one of those numbers. I don't know who it is. But um, I just okay. want to say again that um, it's Shabbos Shira, and we know that music touches a certain part of our brain that stimulates different things that other just words and expressions and other forms of communication into our brain don't like reach. So we're so thankful Ari gave us beautiful song tonight and we hope we'll be singing like through Shabbos and beyond. And we wanna wish everybody 